My name is Jeremy Kelsey, Chief Petty Officer in the United States Navy, and in the year 2000, I attempted to take my own life. The first things in life that I remember are, are pain um, and fear the kind of fear that, that's difficult to explain, and it was at the hands of uh, a man who was supposed to be a father figure to me. Um, I trusted him to, to teach me lessons and be a father, but instead he, he made the choice to, uh, to be a monster. From the time I was about three, he started to sexually abuse me. So I spent my younger years just, just praying that someone would come and, and save me, but uh, no one ever came. Um, that only happens in the movies. Once I got away from him, I started to attempt to live a life, but had no clue how to do that, really. Eventually I decided that you know, I needed to do something with my life because I was living in my car and um, I was absolutely going nowhere. I had gotten a, a girlfriend that I went to high school with pregnant and, and I'm living in my car so I said, you know, I, I need to do something. So I went to the Navy recruiter and I got to my first duty station and, and this is where things became normal. And I absolutely did not know how to deal with that. Um, my life was normally full-blown chaos all the time. Um, there was nobody trying to hurt me. There was nobody trying to uh, take advantage of me. Uh, everything was just nice and quiet and normal. So I decided to create that chaos. And that's kind of when the depression sets in. And that's when, who, um, that's when you're doomed, is, is when the depression starts to take over. It's like a demon. Um, once you, once you have that demon inside you, the demon doesn't allow anything else in your life to be important. And I felt like towards the end that there was someone standing next to me screaming into my, my ear at the top of their lungs and nothing I could do would make that stop. And all I wanted to do was just to make it stop, make, make it stop, make it stop. I went down and bought a bottle of rum and, and a bottle of pills and uh, I poured them all out on the counter and just started taking handfuls of them until they were all gone and washed it down with the rum. Um, everything got quiet because I knew that, that it was going to be over and, and I wasn't going to have to live with this anymore. Um, and I felt that peace that I was looking for finally and, and uh, I went to sleep. But I was saved actually by uh, a friend of mine who just happened to come by and uh, see what was going on and he found me, um, called the, the police and um, I woke up in the hospital after they had pumped my stomach and, and done whatever else to try and, and bring me back. Uh, and I knew I did not want to die. I knew I didn't want to die. Um, because in those moments before I went to sleep, I'd felt that peace and I knew that that was that it was possible. My commanding officer asked me, what can I do to help you? And, and I told him, I, I just, please help me to get better. It was overwhelming how much the Navy took care of me at this time. I mean, for, for some reason, uh, every time I thought they would turn their back on me, they never did. And I made a lot of realizations along the way. Like a lot of folks, I thought that, you know, I, I can't go and talk to somebody about these things. I mean, I, I, I was, uh, how does a man tell another man that, that he was sexually abused? Um, I can't talk about that. If I had had the courage to do that, none of these things would happen to me. None of them. Uh, all I needed to do was to, to ask someone to help me and, and look at the extent that it had to come to. Seven years, uh, almost to the day, from, from when I had attempted suicide, I went from being a, a second-class petty officer, which I was at the time when I 
when I uh, attempted suicide. Seven years later, I was a chief petty officer, um, which is huge, huge for me. I could not have done it if I didn't get better. The depression would not allow my career to be important to me or my family or anything else. Once that was gone, my career, the sky was the limit. Uh, nothing held me back. And, and I only wish that, that I had asked someone to help me sooner. I would beg anybody who is going through a difficult situation and doesn't know what to do or doesn't have the tools to deal with it to ask for help. Uh, I beg you, talk to your chaplain, talk to your friends, talk to your chain of command, anybody um, will do. Uh, just don't, don't let it get to where I did. Have more strength than I did.